Uh, first of all, the trail is not like riding a, a you know a railroad grade that's been turned into a trail. There's there's very, very little places that are totally flat. On the other hand, there's only really thrill, three significant hills on it. So, in the longest one, if you needed to, you could walk it in three minutes. So, uh, but don't expect a flat trail. Expect one that's going to give you some minor challenges and and three challenges that might be a little bit more than that. I think the trail really, if you're coming up with a family, is very family friend friendly. Um, there's uh, there's uh, significant places along the way where there are rest stops, shall we say, where you can use either indoor or outdoor facilities. Um, there's eating places, um, maybe more towards the Beaver Bay and, and but very, very interesting places to eat in Beaver Bay that are not the, they're not the franchise eating places. They really have some uh, personality of their own. Um, the beaches, you know, talk about family friendly. Uh, the beaches themselves, uh, you know, you get down into Twin Points Landing and you go into there and there's, a, there's an incredible red rock beach that uh, is almost always empty and it's very, very kid friendly and just a wonderful place to take the time and go and explore. And the other is Thompson Beach. And Thompson Beach is away from the highway and you feel like you're out and up by yourself, but if you walk up <laughs> off the lake shore, you know, about 50 yards away is going to be the bike trail. And, and so, I mean, what a beautiful place. And there's so many places along the Gitchigami State Trail where you can go in, you're going to find some things that you're, you'll be really glad you got off your bikes and uh, looked around. <laughs>